Hi folks, this is another uh, spontaneous video, hence the reason it's only going to be audio um, and it's going to involve me speculating on another driver um, pairing uh, for 2022. I'll tell you more about it in this video after the break. So bear with me, bear, bear with me with on this one. I've just watched a um, series of um, videos uh, called This Week on um, Will Buxton's YouTube channel. Um, you know, a big hello goes out to Will, Will. Um, hope you're well, mate. Um, hope your family is well as well, and uh, hopefully speak to you soon. Anyway, I have he's launched um this vlog series, which I've just dis discovered, um, and I've watched all every single episode of it. In the first one, he um, he um, tells us about the fact that um, Williams have strengthened or are going to strengthen their working ties with with uh, Mercedes, um, not in terms of becoming a B team, um, but in terms of using gearboxes and other uh, technical information. Um, now I know that this is old news already, but I've, I've only just dis discovered the, video, the set of videos which, prom which prompted me to do this video, uh, this audio blog um, just now. And my theory is that Nico Hülkenberg could re could replace um, George, George Russell for 2022 at Williams. And the reason why I'm saying that it's Nico Hülkenberg is not because I'm a Nick, Nico Hülkenberg fanboy. Um, even though I can't deny that, um, you know, he's one of my favorite, he's my, uh, one of my favorite drivers. Uh, and th that is not because he's from Germany. I mean, I genuinely think he's a nice guy. Um, but anyway, I, um, I think he could replace George Russell, who I believe will be driving alongside um, either Valtteri Bottas or Lewis Hamilton. Um, I think um, Valtteri Bottas could go to Renault or Alpine, as is now known, and Nick Eisenberg could partner um, in Nicholas Latifi, and the reason why I'm thinking Heikenberg back to Williams is is due to the fact that um, the the Williams is is go, going to be a lot better, a, a lot more racy racy than the current one is, especially with with the tires being a lot more closer to. The actual Mercedes Works team. Um, I think, I think, um, come 2023, I think uh, Williams Racing are going to be a force to be reckoned with again. Call me, call me crazy, but that's just what I think. Um, so, and um, we, we've we've seen what Nico Eikenberg can do in a 
um, Mercedes powered car uh, when he drove the Racing Point um, on um, on two occasions. Um, um, the the during the twenty twenty season, and um, you know, I I think if if he could make a comeback with Williams, I think um he could really help them out with developing the car, um, you know, and um, I think that would that would um be a be a perfect um potential end to his Formula One career because he started um his his career his career back in um, 2010 with the Williams team fair enough um you know the the Frank Williams uh let let him go quite uh, late before the uh, before the 2011 season, so he could only get a test role. But uh, I think, um, yeah, Nick Hülkenberg alongside Nicholas Latifi um, and Jensen Button as an advisor. Don't forget, I think that would be that would be a strong combination with. With um, Latifi bringing in um, the the majority of the cash, and uh, you know the talent as well, um, alongside um, Nick Hülkenberg, who is exper- who ha- who is not yet who who hasn't won a Grand Prix in Formula One or let alone be on a podium, but he he has been in teams who have who have um, who have had um, manufacturer backing, and you know like the the, the Renault Works team, and uh, don't forget he has also won the twenty twenty four hours of Le Mans in uh, Le Mans in there. Uh, 2015 on his first attempt, and um, so he can't be that much of a bad driver. You know, he can't be that much. He can't be that bad of a driver. So, uh, um, you know, and and what he did in 2020 when he when he jumped into um, the um, racing point without any testing and um, you know uh, I think what he did there was absolutely amazing and um, I I just I just think um, it's a real possibility and um, so what do you guys think let me know in the comments below cheers for watching I would just like to say a massive 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 thank you to everybody who's who's been watching my videos we we are um, slowly increasing the uh, watch hours. We are also slowly increasing the the uh, the uh, subscriber the subscriber numbers. If we can get if we can keep it at three subscribers a day, uh, t- I'll be happy with that uh, because we only. Um, 135 uh, subscribers away from the big 1k uh, subscriber milestone. So if we can get that before the the start of the 2021 season, uh, that would be epic and that would really make my day. Um, cheers for watching, guys. I love you all. Bye.